Bonnie Stevenson here for River Scene Magazine. We are getting ready for the second half kickoff of tonight's varsity football game between the visiting volunteers of Lee Williams High School and your Lake Havasu Knights. It's been a back and forth affair. Havasu right now trailing 30 to 28 and Lee Williams is set to get or receive the second half kickoff. Um, we want to thank an incredible amount of incredible sponsors who have made not only tonight's telecast possible but will make the next four home games possible starting with river valley window company uh, river valley windows your hometown residential window and door specialist since 1999 visit their showroom at 2650 north kiowa avenue anderson automotive group proudly supporting lake havasu high school football and all of lake havasu High School Athletics. Anderson Auto Group does an incredible job. We are going to be debuting here probably in the next week or so a uh, incredible weight training room that they have helped put together here on the campus of the Lake Havasu High School Knights. So we look forward to bringing you that Lake Havasu High School and Anderson Auto Group. We tremendously appreciate their support beauty slayers salon check out beauty slayers salon full service salon and more for all your beauty needs as a lake havasu high school alumni owned and operated business the beauty slayers want to say go knights chicago title and fidelity national title proudly serving all of mojave county for your escrow and title needs the entire staff of both offices want to support and wish all the Knights good luck here in 2023. The Lonnie Stevenson Mortgage Team, powered by Lone Depot, proudly serving Lake Havasu for over 20 years. Primary homes, vacation homes, investment properties, we do it all. Now offering reverse mortgages. Got a question? Don't know where to start? Call Lonnie. Anthony Oskokloff Insurance Agency. Scoring confidence with touchdown protection. See what they did there? That's some clever marketing there. Anthony and group over there at the Anthony Oskolkoff Insurance Agency. Come see them today over in Lake Havasu and good luck nights. Miner's Diner owned by a couple of Lake Havasu High School alumni. You can find their blue food truck at all the local events this year. Sunset Tour. I'm sorry, Sunset Charter and Tour Company, specializing in narrated boat tours and excursions, and is a Lake Havasu High School alumni-owned business by Captains Kenny and Janine Samp. They're located down in the English Village and want to wish all the Knights good luck in 2023. Tropical Smoothie Cafe in Lake Havasu, where you're always, and I stress always, on tropical time. Joshua Tree Spa. Check them out in Lake Havasu to experience supreme relaxation. Best wishes to the Fighting Knights this season from the crew at Joshua Tree Spa. Tees and Polish Salon. Lake Havasu High School alumni Barbara has been doing hair and nails in Lake Havasu for over 30. She has corrected me and said it's coming up on 35 years. So we don't want to say that Barbara's old, but 35 years and an alumni you do the math. Uh, looking for a stylist that will listen and help achieve the style you're looking for? Call Barbara. Go Knights in 2023. Full disclosure, that's my wife. And I'm going to pay for those comments when I get home. So if I don't see you next week, that'll be why. Um, hey, be sure to check out the Farmer's Market, Farmer's Market at the Cause Building tomorrow morning. It will be held from 8 a.m. to noon and is usually on the second and fourth Saturdays of each month. Check out local artists and food vendors selling their homemade goods. The Cause Building is located on McCulloch Boulevard next to Grace Arts Live. And we want to have one Welcome final family. shout out Welcome to, to Big O Tires, proudly serving yes, Mojave up. County for Bring 30 years. The 30 staff 20. and crew over at Big O Tires Proudly supporting Lake Havasu High School night football here on River Scene Magazine. We truly appreciate them. So teams are warming up. We're getting ready. Again, Lee Williams will receive the opening second half kickoff, leading this one 30-28 to 28 on what has been an incredibly entertaining football game. 
Last year, the volunteers up in Lee Williams led at halftime 14 to 13. And actually it was a huge fourth quarter for the Knights where they were able to come out of Kingman with a 38 to 20 lead. We're hoping for more of the same tonight. So lots of bright spots for the Knights, mostly on offense. Junior running back Gavin Briggs with a couple of long touchdown runs, a 65 yarder and an 85 yarder. He also had a six yard run for three touchdowns in that first half. Uh, junior Wyatt Tribolet had the fourth touchdown for the night on a one yard run. So lots of bright spots, lots, lots of positives. Just need to tighten up some defense and I'm sure Coach Thompson and crew have had that discussion at halftime and uh, we are ready to go here. Second half. Junior Frazier Monolu kicking off to Lee Williams here on the near sideline, fielded just short of the third yard line, kicks it upfield and falls forward to the 37 yard line. To put a couple of periods on some stuff at the end of the first half, Tyler Thompson had a little, just felt a little woozy. He's good. He was warming up on the sideline, gave me a thumbs up, said he's good, fine and ready to go. The play that was, there was some confusion that we thought there was a fumble. The official ruling was that there was an inadvertent whistle on the other side killing the play before it was actually done. So they racistly said no play and that's why the ball was spotted back where it was and then Lee Williams scored on the very next play. So, all right, that should catch you up. We are ready to go here. Second half football, Lee Barnes Stadium. Lee Williams with the ball, 37 yard line. Handoff on the far sideline. Again, makes that corner cut. They've been doing it all night. They've been get, able to get around that outside corner and turn it upfield for positive yardage. And did so on that play. Extra whistles. Got a Havasu player down on the far sideline. I'm not sure who we got down. Coach Thompson making his way across, along with another member of the uh, Havasu team here on the sideline. Players making their way over here to the side while they attend to the injured night. Again, I didn't see, I don't know who it is on the ground. Could have been just one of those muscle cramps we've been talking about throughout the night. And that appears like that might be what it is, the way they're kind of stretching his leg out. We're hoping it's nothing serious. So in a game that has featured a lot of play stoppages and uh, coming up on two hours and 15 minutes since kickoff and we are just 12 seconds into quarter number three. So gonna be a late night folks, back and forth affair. You don't wanna leave River Scene Magazine. There is uh, coverage coming up and we wanna keep you abreast. Next week, the Knights travel to Carl Hayden High School in Phoenix to take on the Falcons of Carl Hayden. They are opening their season tonight in Coconina. And uh, we, are, we, we won't be broadcasting the game live next week. We are hoping to put some stuff together to bring it to you and some updates. So um, that is number 69. I do not have a name to that number. He's walked kind of gingerly but is up and under his own power. So I think we had called his number a few times there in that first half. And again, I was not able to find out exactly who that is on the roster.
All right, it's an Alba. He's smiling. It's a cramp. Tell these kids to keep drinking water and they just don't listen. All right, here we go. Second down for Lee Williams. Sprinting here on the near sideline. Lee Williams looking to extend their 30 to 28 lead here. Low snap, there's that left side again, cuts it back up this time, able to break a couple of tackles. Weave in his way for positive yardage, gets into Knight's territory before being brought down in a first down for Lee Williams. Ball being spotted at about the Havasu 47 yard line. Lee Williams taking over. Just opening seconds of the second half here. Lee Williams leading this one 30 to 28. Run play on the far sideline. Nice tackle there by number 14. That's Vera Higgins. Vega Higgins, sorry. Man, his mom's gonna be mad at me. Vega Higgins on the tackle. Sorry, Kerry. Second down for Lee Williams here. Ball being spotted at about the 47 yard line, shifting some personnel around again. And the flag from the far official here, signifying delay of game by Lee, Lee Williams. Lee Williams. About the fourth or fifth times that Lee Williams has been called for a delay of game. Gonna push him back five yards. Still second down. All right, so next week, the Knights travel to Carl Hayden High School. And then the week after that, September 8th, Make your travel plans, you need to be here. It's a golden shovel game against Mojave. We are expecting a huge crowd in that annual, annual contest. Havasu has won the last nine straight contests and Mojave has had enough and said they're coming down and ready to take the shovel back up the river. So we'll see. Short little gain there for Lee Williams, gonna be third in about 12. Ball being marked right at midfield. See what the Knights can do to shut down Lee Williams. Rolling out here to the right. Pressure by Triple A, turns it back up. Slides down at the 40 yard line. Lee Williams carried to the 40 yard line, fourth down. So let's see what Lee Williams is going to do on this short third down or fourth down, say three yards. They're going to go for it. So Lee Williams with a gamble here. Start the second half. Fourth and three, ball being spotted at the 40 yard line. Roll out on the far sideline. It's been there all night for him. He's cutting it inside. He's been able to make that corner and he's going to take it to the house. Lee Williams with a 40-yard touchdown run on the opening drive of the second half. Lee Williams carry to the end zone. Valentine's lead, 36-20. So give six more to Lee Williams. On a nice 40-yard scamper by their quarterback. Kicking team on for the extra point. See if they can push their lead out to 37 to 28. So again, Havasu has had no answer for the Lee Williams offense tonight. Low kick, blocked. Moves low to begin with. 
I'm not sure if that was Lockman or I see Trevor Thompson also in the area. Regardless, the extra point is no good. So it's still a one score game. Lee Williams 36, Havasu 28, 841 left to go here in quarter number three. Knights defense needs to figure out a way. They have that far sideline. They are just turning the corner each and every play. So How about those Lee Williams getting ready to kick off. Havasu getting their return team on. It has been Thompson and Dreisbach in the backfield. And it looks like that's going to continue with Norlander, Johnson, and... Taylor up a few yards, maybe 15, 20 yards in front of the deep return guys. So anything short will be fielded by, by those three. Otherwise, it's Dreisbach and Thompson deep to receive the kickoff from Lee Williams. Again, opening minutes here. Lee Williams took the opening second half kickoff and went down the field on a Fourth down play, 40 yard run, pushing their lead out to 36 28. Going to kick it on the far sideline over to Thompson, fields it inside the 10 yard line, going to bring it up the near sideline, looking for a couple of blocks, looking to make the corner. Stiff arm out of bounds, just past the 25 yard line where the Knights, well, ball being spotted right at the 25 yard line where the Knights are gonna take over on offense. So see what type of counter punch the Knights have for Lee Williams. Back and forth we've gone all night. So Tyler Thompson out on the field. Again, I talked to him right before the start of the third quarter. He gave me a thumbs up, he's good to go. So same personnel that's pretty well running. Taylor here on the near sideline. Briggs in the backfield. Tribble and Norlander on the far sideline. Thompson rolling out, takes it back upfield. And uh, Lee Williams gonna be flagged for a high helmet hit. Thompson on the ground. So Coach Thompson going out to attend to his player, but has a word to the officials first. Thompson and coach from Lee Williams having some words right now. Lee Williams coach coming out on the field. Thompson telling him to go back to his sideline. Lee Williams coach wanting to come out and has something to say. So they are calling a personal foul on Lee Williams. Meanwhile, senior quarterback Tyler Thompson lays on the ground, being attended to by medical personnel. Thompson still having a few words for the officials. Meanwhile, Junior quarterback Eric Nibles over here on the sideline, warming up, getting some last minute instructions. Thompson still on the ground. I can see him moving. Kind of had his hands up on his helmet. Dr. Anderson working his way onto the field now. Take a look at the senior quarterback. Coach Lockman here with the offensive on the near sideline. Just waiting for Tyler to get up. Yeah. 
All right, so they're helping him sit up. Reaching up, undoing his helmet, taking his helmet off. Just trying to catch his breath, it looks like. So the, the hit there towards the end of the half was also a high hit to the helmet, which kind of momentarily knocked Tyler a little bit. He confirmed with me that it was a high helmet hit, and uh, I'm not sure anything intentional, but it was a, another high hit to the head area of senior quarterback Tyler Thompson. And uh, he makes his way to the sideline. So Eric Niebles here on the sideline by me, had the headset on, talking to the coaching staff up top, gets a few last minute words from alumni coach Dusty Lockman, and out he goes to lead the night offense. Havasu trailing this one, 36-28, 8.28 left to go here. We're just in the third quarter, ball being spotted just past the 35 yard line. Unsportsmanlike conduct, we will. So they have ejected the Lee Williams player calling unsportsmanlike contact. All right, so here we go. Officials wind the clock up. We're ready to go. So again, junior quarterback Eric Niblis taking the ball. Briggs and Norlander in the backfield, handoff to Briggs, makes a couple of cuts, looking for an opening, down and over some players, working his way, tried to get to the sideline. Again, another superior out effort by Gavin Briggs, getting the ball out to the 50 yard line, pushed down for the Knights. Ethan Adler is in the backfield now with Briggs. Hand off to Briggs, spins it back to the inside. It's going to fall forward for a few yards. Maybe give him a yard. Second down and nine for the Knights here. Knights break the huddle. Gonna be Taylor here on the near sideline. Lockman to his right. Gonna be Adler. And I think it's Triple A on the far sideline. Neblish, your quarterback in. Pass on the near sideline to Taylor. Nice reception, cuts it back in. Gets inside the 40 yard line for a night first down. Nice hookup there by Neblis to Taylor. Great job. So obviously Neblis not afraid to put the ball in the air. He, he threaded that one. That was a nice crisp throw. Great job by the junior. Neblis looking the hook up with Taylor again, puts it in the corner. Ball incomplete. Help over on the safety position, knock that one out. Taylor on the ground holding his leg. Might have a cramp going on himself. He 
He's back up. Says he's good, but they're gonna take him out for a play. So Trevor Thompson in to replace him here on the near sideline. Gonna be Lockman again in the slot on the far sideline. You've got five AAA and 30 Norlander. Timeout by Lee Williams on this second down play. All right, so this marathon game continues. Another stop in the action here. Two and a half hours into a football game and we are not even halfway through the third quarter. Hang on, folks. May need to call Uber Eats for a midnight snack here. Great job by Neblis coming in, taking over for Thompson. Second down play coming up. Giving Taylor a chance to grab a drink and stretch out. And uh, says, Coach, I'm ready to go. To help LHS students through your tax dollars in Havasu and receive an athletic So Havasu with a new offensive coordinator this year. Micah Johnson is in running the offense. He is up in the booth. He is not in the sidelines. Micah is up in the booth calling the plays down. Quarterback coach Dusty Lockman is here on the sideline helping run the offense here on the field. So new look offense for the Knights this year. Micah in his first year here on the Knights staff. We welcome Micah to the Knight family. Needless in the back. Hand off to Briggs. Briggs with a cut, spin. God, he's got some moves. You'd... Last year we were blessed to watch Isaac Stopke just with brute power. And Gavin Briggs just bounces off tackles. He just keeps his legs moving and is always moving forward and just is in a, a perpetual state of motion. So great job by Briggs. Going to be a real short third down here. Clock ticking down. 6.15 left to go in the third quarter. Ball being spotted just inside the 30-yard line. Needless drops back looking for Taylor. Rolls out to his right. Pass intercepted. So Lee Williams jumped the route in front of Lockman. It, it looks like they're going to return that for a touchdown. So Lee Williams with a pick six interception here at the 548 mark. And they are going to push their lead out to 42-28 pending the point after. Great job by the Lee Williams defensive back, jumping that route. All right, so Lee Williams lining up for the extra point. It is up and through the uprights. So with 548 left to go here in the third quarter, Lee Williams with a pair of touchdowns. They push this one out to a 43 to 28 lead. Havasu set to take kickoff and see what they can do, get things turned around. You can just kind of feel the air being sucked out of the stadium right now. Long way to go though. High school football last year, the Knights put 25 on the scoreboard in the fourth quarter. So, and Briggs has shown a ability to score quickly. So hang in there folks. Lots of football left to go. Havasu gonna get the ball and get back to work here real soon. Again, Dreisbeck and Thompson back. 
Taylor getting some instruction here on the sideline from Coach Thompson, looking for the Lee Williams kickoff. If you are worried about the heat and not coming out to the game tonight, I tell you, as soon as that sun went down, it is really, a really, really, really nice. There's a light breeze, and it's, it's really a comfortable evening here at the stadium. So uh, we hope to see you in two weeks for that Golden Shovel game, September 8th against Mojave. Got a little bit of business left to take care of here, though. We got a 43-28 deficit we need to start getting into. That kick deep five-yard line brought out by Thompson. Met by a wall of Lee Williams players. Lee Williams with an extra bounce in their step right now. So Thompson was met just past the 15, say 16 yard line where the night offense is going to take over in a little bit of a hole. But we have seen them do some remarkable things and uh, there's a lot of football to be left over. So. Coach Lockman with some instructions for pushing the team out. Again, needless, I think this is needless game for the rest of tonight. I see Thompson here on the sideline, but his, his uh, shoulder pads and jersey is off. So um, this is needless's game to bring home. Lined up here on the near sideline, AAA in the slot. Needless bringing in motion, little cross pattern, handed over to Briggs with, Briggs with a big cut. Falls forward, great yardage, pushing it out to the 25 yard line. Hemsley carry by Gavin Briggs to the 25 yard line. So just short, just short of the first down, gonna be third and one here. Sorry, second and one. Looking for some signs here from the sideline, calling the play in. Second and one for the Knights. Again, Neblis in at quarterback. Thompson was knocked out earlier in this quarter on a uh, questionable hit from Lee Williams. Player was ejected for unsportsmanlike conduct. And we'll just leave it at that. So Lee Williams jumps all over Briggs in the backfield. He's able to not even get back to the line of scrimmage. So going to bring up third and about two now for the Knights. New personnel coming in for the Knights. That's number 24, Tristan Andrade. Taylor, your receiver here on the near sideline. Andrade and Tribole in the backfield. Looks like Lockman on the far sideline. Movement by the Knights. So what was a second and one now is turning into third and seven. Triple A looking for the call from the sideline. Refers to his wristband. Gonna call the play out inside the huddle. They're gonna break. Again, Norlander on the far sideline. We got Taylor, Triple A, and Lockman here on the near sideline. Andrade in the backfield with Neblis. Some confusion. Timeout by the Knights. Seemed to be some confusion on what side of the quarterback, the running back needed to be. So, Coach Thompson, a big, big third down here. Going to call time out. Brings the troops over, encouraging everybody to take a deep breath, settle down. Again, some new personnel that haven't seen a whole lot of action, especially tonight, and uh, they're just kind of working through it. So hang in there, folks. Hunter. 
So number 31, Hunter Cicinero coming in now. Going to be lined up on the near sideline here between Taylor and Lockman. Getting Andrade in the backfield. And Norlander lined up wide, right. Quick slant in to Hunter. Gets the ball, turns it in, gets across the 20, but well short of the first down. So the Knights looking at a fourth down and five here. And punt team coming out too deep in the Havasu territory right now. Halo jump coming in for his second attempt, punt attempt of the game. 3.05 left to go here in the third quarter. Getting a little confusion all of a sudden. We'll see what kind of pressure Lee Williams puts on or do they set up for the return. Much better punt by Halo this time. Bounces, rolls around, takes a Havasu bounce. Downed by number 20, Joel Quintanella. And the Knights, or the Volunteers are gonna take over. Ball being spotted right about midfield. Two forty-one left to go here in the third quarter. Lee Williams with a pair of unanswered touchdowns here in the third quarter to take a 30-28 halftime lead and push it out to 43-28. See what kind of answers the Knights defense have. Lee Williams has not had to punt the ball yet tonight. They have scored on every possession. If the Knights have any hope of winning this game, they're gonna to have to stop them. They're gonna to have to have a couple of defensive stops, a couple of turnovers, something to change the direction. Lee Williams looking, going big. Puts it over the head of the intended receiver. Gonna bring up run. second down. Lee Williams looking for the home run ball there. This is only the fourth game between these two schools. Lee Williams won the first two back in 2019 and 2021. There was no game in 20. That was the COVID year. And then last year, Havasu went up to Lee Williams and came away with a 38 to 20 win. So Lee Williams looking at second down here. Havasu looking for a stop. Ball handoff inside, getting there, able to just get some yardage on that right side. Lee Williams carry to the 47 yard line. Second down. Change of personnel for the Knights. Again, a little bit of confusion there. Second down for Lee Williams here. Fake passing it on the near sideline here. Block, Taylor bounces off the block. Nice little stop at the 45 yard line for a short gain. Gonna bring up third down. Lee Williams passed complete to the 44, third down. Give him the 44 yard line on that play, gonna bring up third and about four. Clock ticking down, 124 left to go here in the third quarter. Have a soon needing to stop. Little confusion on Lee Williams, and they call a timeout. So 
with 104 left to go here in the third quarter. And Lee Williams with a big third down play. They want to make sure they get their personnel set correctly. And uh, we have another timeout on the, on the field. So Coach Thompson with the defense circled around him, hoping to dial up a stop here, get the ball back in the hands of his offense. See if they can turn the tide here on what's been a Lee Williams second half. Band is trying to get the crowd fired back up, get some energy built up here in the house. A little stagnant. I still see Tyler Thompson sitting on the bench, head down, kind of dejected. He will Fight another day. Competitive young man. Motion by Lee Williams, drop back. Oh, pitches it. Great. Oh, he had him. Briggs had him, slipped out. And then Tucker Stevenson come over and uh, they were able to bring Lee Williams down for a loss. So fourth and five here for Lee Williams with 40 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Lee Williams bringing out their punt team. Havasu playing it tight up front. No one back deep for the Knights at this point. Looking to see what Lee Williams is gonna do. Clock running. We're inside 25 seconds left to go. Briggs. Trots back now, ready to receive the punt. 14 seconds left to go here before halftime. Delay of call on Lee Williams with nine seconds. So push the volunteers back five yards and uh, we'll see what Briggs can do here with this punt to close out the third quarter. Lee Williams penalty remains fourth down. Nice punt on the near far sideline, goes out of bounds. One second left on the clock. Hey, we can play one more play here in the third quarter, see what Havasu's got dialed up. Official steps up to the 15 yard line where he says it's Havasu's ball. All right, so Havasu personnel able to take that time to sit over here on the sideline, get reorganized. Briggs is back out there with Niblis at quarterback. Let's go! I got it, I got it. Taylor here on the near sideline, Niblis at quarterback. Shotgun formation, got Briggs to his right. Looks like Triple A and Lockman on the far side. Triple A and Norlander on the far sideline. Horn goes off inside, handoff to Briggs. And Briggs with another big run out over the 30 yard line. So give a first down for Briggs. And that is the end of the third quarter with your Havasu Knights trailing Lee Williams 43 to 28. See what kind of comeback the Knights have tonight for you. One more time, your winning numbers for tonight's 50 50 raffle and $200. Six nine seven nine seven two zero. Please report to the announcer window to claim your prize. All right, as we start the fourth quarter of tonight's football game, we need to shout out one more time to all the magnificent sponsors who have made tonight's telecast possible. Starting with Miner's Diner, locally owned Lake Havasu City alumni. 
business. You can find their blue food truck at all the local events this year. Miner Ziner. If you see an unattended black corduroy bag, ball being spotted at about the 32 yard line. Taylor on the near sideline. Neblis with a deep ball down for Triple A, just out of his reach, incomplete. So we want to thank Sunset Charter and Tour companies. Sunset Charter and Tour specializing in narrated boat tours and excursions. And is a Lake Havasu City alumni, Lake Havasu High School alumni owned business by Captains Kenny and Janine Samp. They're located down in the English Village. Captain Kenny and Captain Janine say, go Knights. Thanks for your support for this home opener. Second down, fake pump pass over the head of Taylor here, incomplete. Tropical Smoothie Cafe in Lake Havasu, where you're always, and they stress always, on tropical time. We want to thank the crew over at Tropical Smoothie Cafe for your support of Knights football tonight. All right, third and ten for the Knights here. Had a nice little run to end that third quarter, but a couple of plays with zeros on them. To start the fourth, Neblis with a handoff to Andrade. Andrade breaks it to the outside, spun out of bounds. Going to be short of the first down by a couple. Ball being spotted at the 40. So fourth and three for the Knights here. Coach Thompson going to go for it. Looking at a 43 to 28 deficit. Needless with the play, bringing it into the huddle. Taylor and Lockman here on the near sideline. Needless at quarterback. Got Briggs and Triple A and the back. Handoff. Two Briggs. So Briggs tackled for a loss, gonna be a turnover, a downs to Lee Williams. So Havasu defense gonna have to come up with the ball right now. We wanna thank Joshua Tree Spa. Check out Joshua Tree Spa in Lake Havasu to experience supreme relaxation, best wishes to the Fighting Knights this season. Joshua Tree Spa, thank you for your support of River Scene Magazine Lake Havasu Night Football tonight. So Lee Williams coming up, 11.42 left to go in the fourth quarter, leading this one 43 to 28. Havasu looking for an answer. Shut out so far here in the second half. Inside handoff to Lee Williams, gets deep into the secondary, cutting back, brought down at the 22, but not before a long game. So Lee Williams starting to eat up some clock, some yardage. Havasu took a 28 to 23 lead by a six yard run by Gavin Briggs with 3-12 in the second quarter and it's been all Lee Williams since then. Three touchdowns unanswered. Knights with nothing here so far in the second half. Lee Williams deep in their territory inside handoff. Cutting in a couple of arm tackles. He's going to take it to the house. Lee Williams with another touchdown. So Lee Williams just running the ball down Lake Havasu. Little 22, 23 yard run. Gonna push the score 49, 28 here with 11.05 left to go.
Kick is up and good. So with 11.40, I'm sorry, 11.05 left to go here in your football game. The visiting Lee Williams Volunteers 50, your Lake Havasu Knights 28. That's four unanswered touchdowns by Lee Williams. Air control. All right, if you're out and about tomorrow morning, be sure to check out Farmer's Market at the Cause Building tomorrow morning. It's from eight to noon, usually on the second and fourth Saturday, and that would be tomorrow, fourth Saturday of the month. Check out local artists and food vendors selling their homemade goods. The Cause Building is located on McCulloch Boulevard, right next to Grace Arts Live. So if you're out and about, make sure you go check out the Farmer's Market. We want to thank the crew over at Big O Tires, serving Mojave County for over 30 years. Thanks for Big O Tires for your support of Lake Havasu football here on River Scene Magazine tonight. Lee Williams lining up for the kickoff. Kicker counting, make sure he's got all 11 players out on the field, or 10 players along with him out on the field. Setting up his tee. Okay, we want to shout out to River Valley Windows, your hometown residential window and door specialist since 1999. Visit their showroom at 2650 North Kiowa, River Valley Window Company. Thank you for your support of Lake Havasu Night Football here on River Scene Magazine. All right, so drives back and Thompson back deep for the Knights. Kick deep here on the near sideline. Gonna be Thompson. Looking for a wall, a couple of blocks, cuts it back up, lowers his shoulder, falls forward, past the 30-yard line. Good positive yard by the junior. Pushing the ball out to 30. Now they're going to mark it right at the 30-yard line. All right, we want to thank Lake Havasu High School alumni Barbara, who's been doing hair and lake, nails in Lake Havasu for nearly 35 years. Looking for a stylist that will listen and help you achieve the style you're looking for? Call Barbara. And Barbara says, go Knights in 2023. All right, so Trip Niblis out, fake handoff, or fake pass, hands it off to Briggs inside. Briggs is just Bouncing off a of tackler's, he will not go down. Second Needless looking for the call in from the sideline here. Clock ticking down, 10.35. So looking for something positive here. Needless had a nice little drive going and that interception just kind of set him back a little bit. Just needs to take a deep breath. This is gonna be his offense to the rest of tonight. We don't know anything else other than Tyler Thompson is out for the rest of the game. Needless with a fake to Briggs, keeps it himself. Drove back by Lee Williams. So, Eric. Ball being spotted at the 37 yard line, gonna be third down and three for the Knights. 9.45 left to go in the game. Taylor Leiden lining up on the near sideline. Lockman to his left. Briggs in the backfield. Tribole and Norlander on the far left. Needless step back, gonna hit a swing to Briggs, takes a step back. Lee Williams just Lee Williams rallying to the ball. Looks like a little extra there at the end. They're gonna get called for it. It's gonna cost them. But they have been, Lee Williams has been the aggressor here in the second half. They have been hustling to the football, gang tackling, and they've just, um, just had a little more pop in their step. 
personal In that particular play, a little extra pop. No pun intended. So personal foul on the Volunteers, gonna tack on some yardage, give the Knights a first down. 9-19 left to go here in tonight's home opener. Ball being spotted just inside the 50-yard line. Needless with some conversation to Triple A. Briggs coming up, getting a word. Taylor and Lockman here on the near sideline. Needless rolling back, pressure coming up the middle, tucks the ball down. Another flag on the play. Wait for the official call here. Not sure if they had holding. Havasu team walking backwards, so it is indeed on Havasu. Looking for the official call here. It is holding on the Knights. Going to push the ball back to the 40-yard line. Holding Lake Havasu remains first down. So first and 20 for the Knights. The mountain just keeps getting a little bit bigger tonight. Trailing this one 50 to 28. Not quite the home opener Havasu was looking forward to. Too, but this is a young group just learning to play together. They will get back on the field and work some stuff out and be ready to go at Carl Hayden next week. Needless rolls out, finds Briggs open over the middle. A little curl back by Briggs, a spin. Another flag coming in. Briggs got back to the original line of scrimmage, waiting for a what the flag is. <laughs> Looks like the penalty is on Havasu, so negates that positive play by Briggs. Gonna push him back again. Looks like an illegal block by the Knights. Maybe, maybe they called personal foul. Holy cow, I walked it all the way back. Ball being spotted now at the 30 yard line. First and 30 for the Knights. So instead of a 10 yard gain, they got another 10 yard penalty. Needless, again with a mountain. Hand off to Briggs. Briggs with a cutback. Ludes one tackle. Turned upside down the second time. Getting a little chippy out there now. A couple of teams that uh, been hitting on each other all night. And uh, it's been a long night. It's warm. Not too warm, but it's, it's warm. And uh, you can just see a little chippiness starting to get on. Havasu not feeling real great about losing 50 to 28 right now. And Lee Williams, Lee Williams been the aggressor. They've been the, the team this year, so, or this tonight. Needless puts it back, rolls up the middle, nowhere to go. Falls forward to about the 44 yard line. Going to bring up a long third down. Third and about 16 for the Knights. 7.37 left to go here in your football game. See what kind of play the Knights have lined up. Again, Needless at quarterback. Thompson injured a little bit just at the start of the third quarter. Second, third play of the game. Timeout by Lake Havasu with 7.13 left to go. Trailing 50 to 28, looking at a third and 16. So see what kind of play they got lined up. 
Please help keep our field and stands pristine. Cleaning the area All right, the so let's continue on. We want to thank Anderson Auto Six. Group, proudly supporting Lake Havasu High School sponsor. football and, and Lake, Lake, Havasu Lake Havasu High School Cutting. in its entirety. Finish Anderson Finish. Auto Group goes above and beyond, does a tremendous Finish. job. We are looking forward to Lake bringing Finish. to you in the coming weeks video of the brand new weight room that they are just putting the final touches on and uh, we can't wait to show you what they've put together. Anderson Auto Group, proud supporter of Lake Havasu High School football. Check out Beauty Slayers Salon, full service salon and more for all your beauty needs. As a Lake Havasu High School alumni owned and operated business, the girls over at the Beauty Slayers Salon want to say go Knights! All right, reset, third and 16 for Havasu, 7-13 left to go here in your football game. Neblis in at quarterback. High snap, brings it down, hands it off to Briggs. Check that Andrade with the, with the run. So fourth down for the Knights at the 45, punting team coming on with 6.51 left to go. Halo jump in to kick off, or to punt for Lake Havasu. Clock ticking down. We are 6-16. Havasu going to let it tick down and took a timeout here with 6-16 left to go. So hang in there, folks. We got six minutes of football left to go. Havasu trailing 50 to 28. What was an outstanding first half of football. Back and forth, the fair Lee Williams has turned around here in the second half and just taken it to the Knights. Three unanswered touchdowns here in the second half to extend a 30 to 28 halftime lead to a 50 to 28 lead. So concern right now for senior quarterback Tyler Thompson still sitting on the Havasu bench. Not a lot of uh, not a lot of activity by the senior, just kind of sitting there in his thoughts. I will remind everyone that a few years ago, Lee Williams came in and went home with a 28 to 21 victory in 2021. And the Havasu team rallied and uh, went to the playoffs that year. So first game, some stuff to work out and uh, they will work on it. Hunter's punt goes on the far sideline out of bounds with 6.06 .06 left to go. So lots of football still to be played. In the meantime, we want to thank Chicago title and Fidelity National title proudly serving all of Mojave County for all your escrow and title needs. The staff and crew at Chicago Title, Fidelity National Title, want to wish the Knights best of luck in 2023. Anthony Oskokoff Agency, scoring confidence with touchdown protection. Come see us today at the Anthony Oskokoff Agency in Lake Havasu City. And Anthony and team want to say good luck, Knights. So Lee Williams with the ball, looking Trying this one out, handoff on the near sideline, penalty flag in, nice little run by Lee Williams. Looked like there was a hold here on the outside edge. Officials conferring.
We want to thank the Lonnie Stevenson Mortgage Team powered by Loan Depot. Proudly serving Lake Havasu for 20 years. Primary homes, vacation homes, investment properties. We do it all. Now offering reverse mortgages. Got a question? Don't know where to start? Call Lonnie. Hey, that's me. All right, so push the volunteers back. 5.56 left to go. The band plays on. Ball being spotted at the 22 yard line. First down for Lee Williams. Motion on Lee Williams. Just left a little bit early here on the, on the near sideline. All right, ball being spotted at the 17 yard line for Lee Williams. First and a bunch, 25. High snap brought down. Pass on the far sideline complete. Brought down just short of the 30 yard lines. Call it the 28. Going to be second down for the Volunteers. Clock clicking down, 5.42 left to go. Please report to the announcer's window to claim your cash prize. Inside handoff, Lee Williams breaks it out. They've just been able to get into that secondary of Lake Havasu, just Havasu chunks of yardage. Havasu has not been able to contain that edge. And Lee Williams has yard. taken advantage of it, getting around the corner and into the Havasu secondary. So, first down. enough yardage for a first down, ball being marked at the 41 yard line. So what was uh, first in a mile, Lee Williams able to make positive yardage. They've just moved the ball all night on Lake Havasu. So night defense got some film to watch this week. Some adjustments to make before traveling down I-10 to call Hayden High School next week. Gonna be a delay a game on Lee Williams. Thank you. Bring the ball back to the 36 yard line where it'll be first down for Lee Williams. That certainly has not deterred them at all tonight. They have just moved the ball. Clock ticking down. We are inside five minutes left to go in tonight's game. Lee Williams content to leave it on the ground. Again, they make that edge, make that cut, taking it down the far sideline, pushed out of bounds finally. By number 14, Vega Higgins, but not before, just a ton of yardage. Official spotting the ball at the 30. First and First down for. Four forty-two left to go in your ball game. Pass on the near sideline screen. Stiff arm off of Andrade. Stepped out of bounds here at about the twenty-three yard line. Bradley, make the play. Let's go, Kyle. 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 Hey, defense. First and 10 for Lee Williams, 23 yard line, 430 left to go in a Lee Williams onslaught here in the second half, 50 to 28, volunteers leading Lake Havasu. Hand off on the far sideline, able to cut it back. Finally brought down at the five yard line by number 25, that's Zoll 
Joel Zuninga, injured player for Havasu here, trailing the play. I'm not sure who that is down on the field. Referee pushing the respective clubs to their sideline. Great opportunity for somebody to get another drink of, of water. Ball girls for Havasu out quickly ob obliging. So your injured Havasu players, number 97. Again, I don't have a, in my roster, I don't know who that is. He is working his way to the sideline. Looks to have just maybe the wind knocked out of him, trying to catch his breath. Give him a few minutes. Meanwhile, Lee Williams, first and goal at the five yard line. Four twenty-one left to go here in your football game. Lee Williams leading this one, fifty to twenty-eight. More whistles. Motion by Lee Williams. It's about the only thing they haven't done well tonight. Is a lot of penalties by the Volunteers, but they have moved the ball well against the Havasu defense. Fifty points scored against the Knights tonight. We didn't see that last year at all. Lee Williams with an inside handoff. Got him lined up here on the right. He's got an edge to the corner. Easily walks in for another volunteer touchdown. Going to push it 56-28 with 4.08 left to go. So 26, looking for 27 unanswered points by the Volunteers here in the second half. Kick is up through the uprights. So give the Volunteers 57, your Havasu Knights 28. Havasu set, see what they can finish out this game with something positive to build on and take to Carl Hayden High School next week. Now, a lot of people are gonna be saying, why is Lee Williams running up the score? And um, let me just tell you, Havasu's gotta stop them. They aren't just gonna sit down on the ball. They're not, they're just handing off the ball and running and Havasu just not, not making good tackles. The other piece is, is um, when it gets down to the end of the year, score, margin of victory, all kinds of things go into the calculations. It's not just wins and losses, but there's all kinds of stuff that goes into the state rankings and determine the state playoffs. In games like this, you take advantage of it because it could be a difference in a seeding moving forward. So hats off to the volunteers of Lee Williams tonight. They have played the better football game. They have come to Lee Barnes Stadium and uh, looking to take a victory home back up to Kingman. And we go on. For the Knights, they got some film to look at and some things to correct, and they, they, they know what to look at. So kickoff taken by Drys back at the five yard line, brings it to the near sideline, looking to get it back. Pulled out of bounds here at about the 17, 18 yard line. So we got 4.02 left to go here in your football game. Ball gonna be spotted at the 17 yard line for the Havasu offense. Looking for something positive here in this final 4.02. 
for them to build off of for next week. Again, we will not be live in the telecast next week. We are putting some things together to try and bring you some live updates from Carl Hayden High School. Stay tuned to River Scene Magazine for details. So some new personnel here for Havasu, Trevor Thompson here on the near sideline. Andrade in the backfield with Niblis at quarterback. Niblis steps back, turns, gets it to Thompson here on the near, out of bounds. Short of the 25 yard line, positive yards for the Knights. Nice pass by Niblis over here. Hemisphere pass complete to number 15, Trevor Thompson. 72! Second down. Get a block, line, let's go. There was also some talk, and just so everybody knows, the Havasu JV team was canceled um, when they started working on depth charts and looking at personnel. They were just short enough players to field a complete JV team. Little mix up there by Havasu. Quarterback went, part of the line didn't. Lots of confusion. Um, so the JV team has, uh, the schedule and the games have been canceled. Several of the JV players are here at the varsity level, get some experience, and some others are down playing on the 9-10 team. Uh, but those are the only two teams that Havasu will be fielding this year. There was actually only four games, JV games, scheduled. Several of the other schools are in the Phoenix metro area do not have enough players for JV teams. So Havasu is not just the only one to have this problem. It is a just, just the numbers game that a lot of the football teams and schools are facing um, on number, number of sports Christian that are coming Lange. out and some of the kids that are specializing and, and not playing Perfect. multiple sports and deciding to stick to one sport or the other and really train year round where in years past you know it was not uncommon for players to play in all three sports each season um, it's become where some of the baseball kids are concentrating on baseball some of the soccer kids are concentrating on soccer um, and you've got football kids that are concentrating on football and not playing baseball so it's just a numbers game. JV squad games have been canceled for 2023. Talking to the freshman coach earlier tonight, they have nine games on their schedule and they have 50 players that are currently on the 9-10 team. So things are not horrible. Um, and they had a nice win earlier this week against Parker. So. Good luck to the 9-10 team for the rest of 2023, and we'll keep you posted on their progress through the year. Niblis avoids a couple tackle, a couple of spins, getting hit from all angles, keeps fighting, pops back up. 156, 55 left to go here in your football game. Again, have a suit just looking for something positive. So first and 10 for the Knights, ball being spotted at the 44-yard line. Needless with a handoff to Andrade, fighting through. Uh-oh. So the reason I said uh-oh is number 60, Kenny Pothanax was on the ground and it kind of looked like his leg got twisted up a little bit. And you just hate to see something happen. Somebody get hurt with one minute left to go in a football game in which the, the scores, the game's already been decided. So teams are trying to play it out. Havasu trying to do something positive here at the end, looking at second and 10 with 45 seconds left to go. Needless dropping back. Gets a nice little pass over the middle to number 32. That's Ethan Adler, and Ethan's going to take it to the house. 
So that right there, that right there is the positive that Coach Thompson is going to take into next week. Great job by number 32 sophomore Ethan Adler to take that 45-yard short pass and take it home. So great job by Ethan. Congratulations on your first varsity touchdown. Personnel in and out for Havasu. Frazier on to kick the extra point with 34 seconds left to go. All right, it's good. And it's not the prettiest score you're gonna see, but Lee Williams, 57, your Havasu Knights, 35. For what had been a pretty, pretty miserable third and fourth quarter for the Knights, just saw a nice little hookup, Neebless to Adler over the middle, and nice little touchdown. So congratulations to those two. A few more smiles on the sideline. It's not all horrible. And uh, they need to get themselves ready to go down I-10. One of five trips the Knights are going to make to the Phoenix area for football games this year. The front half of the schedule for, sorry, three of the first four games are at home, but then four of the last five are away. So this one's not going to be pretty. Sweep it under the rug, look at the film, make the adjustments, go to Carl. Hayden High School, make some adjustments and get the train back on the track. That's what Coach Thompson's probably going to be telling the team this week. For Lee Williams, congratulations. You guys came in and you played an excellent football game. Great win for you guys and good luck to you all on the rest of your season. All the fans over there on the visitor sideline wish you safe travels back home to Lee Williams. Hopefully we get to play each other again in the playoffs this year. Kick off over the hands of Lee Williams, gonna trickle into the end zone for a touchback where Lee Williams will come out at the 20 yard line and uh, 30 seconds left to go. Again, next week's broadcast. There will not be a live telecast next week from Carl Hayden High School. Um, we're working on some stuff. I might be there and might bring you some live updates, but we won't be broadcasting the entire game live. Um, and then the 8th of September, we're home against the Golden Shovel. The 15th, there's no game. And then the 22nd is homecoming against Yonkers. So those two games we will be televising live here on River Scene Magazine. If you want to share this link with family and friends that are not in the area, we would love you to do that. Huge shout out to all the sponsors that made this telecast tonight possible. We couldn't have done it without you. Lee Williams with a kneel down and the clock ticking out. And that's going to be a wrap on a 57-35 Lee Williams victory here at Lee Barnes Stadium. End of the day, officials and players all shaking hands, wishing each other good luck for the rest of the year. And uh, teams meeting at midfield. Coaches with a cordial handshake. Good to see Tyler Thompson up and walking down the line. So that's a great sign. And um, again, some good things tonight that Havasu can build on, and they're going to need it the rest of the year because they've got some big games coming up. Lee Williams, you know, this is a rivalry game, and uh, they came ready, ready to play. So congratulations to the Volunteers. 
and uh, for your nights, they're just going to circle the wagons and uh, regroup, go down to Carl Hayden, see what they can get accomplished next week against the Falcons. Um, again, we know Thompson was out. Um, it looked like uh, Ryder Spencer went out early in this game. I saw him in street clothes uh, later on, so I don't know and have an update on him. And um, we will just check in. So for Lonnie Stevenson, my cohorts, Jillian and crew, we want to thank everybody for tuning in. Go Knights. Not the win we were looking for tonight, but we will get this back on track next week. Again, huge shout out to all our sponsors. Be sure to thank them for the telecast this week. And uh, we will see you in two weeks for the Golden Shovel Game. I'm Lonnie Stevenson. Have a great night, everybody.